right, here we are for another track guide. Had a short track this time at Martinsville, and it's a pretty fun place, depending on what your definition of fun is. Anyways, keys of the race card. Number one, tires. Mostly the left front, right rear. You can slip them, lock them, you know, the usual stuff. Number two is going to be a short track. Typical short track shenanigans, die bombers, wreckers, tons of cautions, and anything in between. And number three, I guess, shifting because you can kind of get a nice punch out of the corner if you're in third gear. The fix is mostly a fourth gear setup, but you can go to third for that little extra punch. So with that said, let's go ahead and get to the lap and talk about it. All right, we're making our way to pit road. Got to break really heavy. Down to second gear, 35 miles per hour. Miserable time down pit road. Now here's a little different. You still have to obey the speed limit until right about here. You can see your pit exit cone right there. And your blend line cone, I guess. Yeah, right here, this whole thing. So there you go. On to the lap. All right, here we are about to take our lap. Fix setup, fix weather. Only change I made to the setup was brake bias all the way down to 46.2. And the steering ratio at a 287. And that's it. No other changes. Give me a decent lap. I wouldn't call it great by any means. But it's something. Then I'm going to show the lap where uh, I shifted. You know, from third to fourth, fourth to third. So um, anyways, let's take a look at this lap and uh, we'll talk about it. All right, there we have it for a 19.4. Here's the shifting lap. All right, so we're going to make our way into one, and there's quite a few points that I'm looking at to break, and it's mostly on the left, and I'll be breaking pretty hard right about here. Now, on the left, you'll see a little Chevy logo, like right there, and a little Cup Series banner, right? And I'm looking at my pillar right here, when it's in between those two points. That's when I'm getting on the brakes pretty hard, as you can see right here. So let me keep slow mowing that. I'm going to release the brakes slowly as I'm turning in. You don't want too narrow of an approach because you'll kind of ruin the center off. I overslowed that. Do has to be here. Once I'm in the center, I'm going to let it roll because this fake set likes to roll a little bit. Once it points, I'm getting on the throttle pretty hard. And then you stand in it to make up for the lack of ump. And we'll make your way into turn three. Not a lot of time to think. And here I'm looking at the right. As well as parts of the left. Now I'm going to start breaking right about here. Now what I did there I broke. There was a wall that's hidden right here. I was looking once that's out of sight. Well actually you can kind of still see it. Once that out, that's out of sight. I'm really hard on the brakes again. Again stated down here. And I'm also. When I'm using the shifting method. I'm looking at this line. You see it right there in the little line. And that's kind of what I'm using, kind of in between both of those. So again, let me slow mo it. Hard on the brakes, same approach as turn one. It's a little rough around entry here, but you're gonna release the brake when you feel it start to turn right around this part of the track. Once it rolls, start picking up the throttle. I kind of overshot a little bit there. That's why I had to damp the brake. Hard on the throttle, use all the track and power out. And there you go. All right, that's it for this track guide. It's a small track, so there's not a lot to see. Both halves of the track are more or less the same. So all I can say is good luck. Because you'll need it. Anyway, it's the Mason Tribute side.